Hello, brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining our Mother and Refuge of the End Times. Let us now begin with a prayer to the Holy Ghost, asking for wisdom, discernment, and guidance. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Let us pray. God our Father, pour out the gifts of your Holy Spirit onto the world. You sent the Holy Spirit over your church to begin the teaching of the Gospel. Now let the Spirit continue to work in the world through the hearts of all who believe. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we would like to share with you a message of our Blessed Mother to Valentina Papagna on January 9, 2022. Valentina recounts, After Holy Mass today, I went into the chapel to say a prayer and to light some candles. When I came to the statue of Blessed Mother Mary, help of Christians, I picked up two candles from the storage box and proceeded to light them. As I did so, a third candle rolled out of the box, falling onto the floor and rolling under the candle stand. I thought I would leave it there and someone would pick it up later. Immediately, Blessed Mother said, Do not be afraid, my daughter. Pick up the candle and light it. That will be for a forgotten soul that nobody even thinks of anymore. So when you light the candle, a light will come to him, as now he is in total darkness. That will bring him hope. Place him in your prayers. Many people will die suddenly, whether on the roads, in accidents, and in hospitals, die without the sacraments. They too are in darkness, and they wait for someone to show them charity and to help them. I said, Blessed Mother, now that you have told me, I now know I will pray even harder for the holy souls for whom nobody prays. I felt deeply touched and emotional when Blessed Mother revealed this to me. In my spirit, I could see the soul for whom Our Lady asked for the candle to be lit. It was for a man who I could see him sitting in complete darkness, huddled in the corner of this very small quarter, looking very sad. As I lit the candle for him, I could see how the flame from this candle suddenly descended to where this man was sitting and became huge, lighting up his whole quarter. When the man saw the flame of light, his facial expression immediately changed to one of happiness. As the light reflected on this quarter, I could see even more souls in the darkness around him. They were all younger men in their thirties and forties, who knows how long they have been there. May they all rest in peace. Blessed Mother showed me that when we light a candle, the light from the candle reaches all the way to heaven. Even when we are praying at home, it is good to light a candle because around us is darkness, the darkness of this world, and the light shines all the way to heaven. God is light. He wants us to remain in a state of grace in the light and not in the darkness. When we are praying and light a candle, all our prayers, even our rosary prayers, go into this light. This light goes direct to heaven, to our Lord, because He is the light, the light of the soul and the light of the world. Thank you, Blessed Mother, for this beautiful teaching and that you care so much for all your children on earth and from all the forgotten souls in purgatory. Then our Lord said, My mother is very concerned for the world, especially now during this pandemic state that the world is in. Pray and console my mother and pray for the world to repent. This is the end of the message. Brothers and sisters, let us answer our Heavenly Mother's request to share Heaven's messages far and wide. Please share like, subscribe, and click on the little bell so that you may be notified of the latest heavenly messages as they come in. And finally, Pope Francis has appealed for prayers. Please join us in praying for the Holy Father 
and for a deep conversion of leaders in every capacity, including in government, in the church, in business, and in the family, that they may seek the divine will in all things and have the conviction to fulfill it. Please click on our channel's 24-7 prayer room titled, Rosary of the Seven Sorrows of Mary, in reparation to the Sacred Hearts. May God bless you and keep you.